We're doing uh, back-to-back episodes here, so we're taping another one, uh, so, you know, so that we have one in reserve until hammer time gets back. But the uh, issue that, since the first time I met you, there was the minimum wage, which is now being looked after. But another issue, you were very early to get aboard, was the uh, gas issue. It still is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, looking back two years, uh has this become a major issue? It is now. People are talking about it. O- oil dropped, went up to $100 a barrel. It went up 12, 13 cents a liter. Then it dropped the other way, another $10, and only dropped 2 cents a liter. Yeah. Any person with common sense would say, there's something wrong with the pitcher. What they should do, it's under, under our Constitution. The natural resources belong to the people of Canada, not Shell or Esso. What the Canadian government should do is out outrightly own the oil uh, gas revenues, Esso and Shell should be employees of the government. Okay. And the government pay them a salary, and all the hundreds of billions of dollars that Esso and Shell get now, that goes into Canadian coffers. Sure. That's How would you convince Canada. Alberta? Uh, that's part of Canada. They'll help Albertans. What if them. Alberta said, screw it, we're going well, out on our own? How can they say, we're, we're, we're not ten different countries, we're our provinces. We're well, still, you know, the uh, Quebec nationalists uh, would no, but, debate that. But you know what, we gotta, we got we got to think big, you got to think like a leader, you got to have a vision. Yeah. The vision is one country, and one country with the collective good. When Alberta's doing good, the rest of Canada's doing good, because okay. when Alberta does well, Ontario does well. But it, it so you're saying gas should be nationalized? Lies, not, and the money okay. doesn't go. Let me finish. The money doesn't go to Esso and Shell. It goes into the national coffers. Mm. That money can go spent. Every Canadian man, woman, and child could get, uh, I think, uh, mm. sixty, maybe a hundred thousand dollars each each year just on the royalties mm. outside the other G, GDP. Because in, in Saudi Arabia, they own their own oil and gas. They pay every man, woman, and child over a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah, but you well, got to remember in Saudi Arabia, um, you know, only a small fraction of the population is considered citizens. Everyone else are foreign. Oh workers. yeah, th- that's fine. But what I'm saying is, we have enough natural resources that we have enough royalties because that's what Shell now are making hundreds of billions of dollars of profit. Okay. Uh, that oil belongs. Now, to now, us. now let's say so that money should go into the coffers. Yeah. And you know what they can do with that money? Reduce their taxes, fix their roads, send transfers to the to uh, the provinces for health care, and, and lower our taxes. And with all this oil and natural uh, revenues we have, we may not have to pay no taxes no more because just on uh, the royalties on the oil covers our, 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 our okay. natural needs. Are there any countries that have nationalized gas? Uh, Saudi Arabia... Cuba, uh, uh, um, uh, Saudi Arabia, uh, Iran, uh, uh, I believe Turkey. Mm. You know what I'm saying? What about, yeah, but those are mainly, are there any other countries no, in I, the I, Americas? I don't, know, I, I don't know about other countries, but Canada, government is of the people, by the people. Okay. The what about Venezuela? Have they nationalized? They're nationalizing, okay. and their money's going back into the, uh, the okay. people and stuff like that. But what I'm trying to say, Pete, is... Stephen Harper has a choice. Yeah. He, he can be with his ba- Bay Street pals and give to the few, which that oil and natural uh, gas belongs to us, and it's in our constitution, mm-hmm. or he can say to Esso and Shell, uh, Esso and Shell, you're employees now. We own the rights. Mm-hmm. But the $900 billion you make, now we, we get, that goes in our taxes, the tax uh, coffers, and that pays for schools, lowering our taxes, fixing our road, our Medicare, and we'll pay you a salary, uh, so much a year, and these guys will still stay in Canada because they're making money. But they want the whole thing at the expense of everybody else. And you know what the key thing is? By owning our own natural uh, 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 oil and gas, guess how much we'd be paying for gasoline in Canada? Four cents a liter. Mm. That works out to what? 20 cents a gallon. And and the rest of the country, the rest of the world, will sell at the uh, world, world prices like Saudi Arabia. In mm. Saudi Arabia, they're paying five cents a gallon. In, in Venezuela, they're lucky. I think they're paying three cents a gallon. Yeah. So so we got two similar situations with two different answers. But because these people are greedy and selfish, and they don't care about the greater good of Canadians, what I say to Canadians. 
Call Stephen Harper. Call Jack Layton. Call the block leader. We have a minority government. Ask them to bring a bill in. Pass it because there's enough uh, votes between the block, the NDP, and some liberals that are progressive. And we have enough, uh, enough to make th this into reality that we own the natural resources and the money we save, that's money in our pockets, and that reduces, that reduces costs in transportation and, and, and cheaper uh, food prices, cheaper clothing, and everything. It's a win-win. The liberals and conservatives, all they care is talk a good game, confuse the public. Meanwhile, the rich friends of Bay Street are smoking their cigar, talking to Mr. Harper. We've got the Canadian people. Okay. They're, they're, too, they're too stupid. They can't figure it out. But okay. you know what? The Canadian people are not stupid. And I say to Canadians, call Mr. Harper's office and you tell him to nationalize it. Because 62% of Quebecers two years ago in Leji Leji report uh, in a survey stated they would accept nationalization. People in Quebec are progressive people and they understand bread and butter issue. Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, now, hold on a sec. You yeah, say you they're progressive, um, but I'm looking at the last provincial election where the um, the party that made the biggest gains was the Action Démocratique du Québec by Mario Dumont, which was the most... He's right wing. Yeah, well, it was the most conservative he, party. Wrong. His politics is wrong. His policies are wrong. If he cared about... But he still... Hold on. He still got over 30% of the so votes. The, the people got brainwashed. What I tell them, the people in Quebec, if they listen to... If they go to suetoday.com, <laughs> www.suetoday.com, go to the Hammer Zone, people in Quebec, check my site, uh, listen mm. to my video, they call DeMont and say, hey, I want my gas at 10 cents a gallon. Now okay. Dollar, stop, 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 dollars. stop. Okay. Don't Hammer Time, zero... Uh, Citoyens du Québec, uh, allez à sous-today.com, uh, ok, et uh, voir son vidéo, et uh, appeler uh, Monsieur uh, Mario Dumont, et dis que tu veux ton essence à 10 sous par uh, litre. Yeah. Ok, and, so anyways. And tell Mr. Mm -hmm. Dumont that if he's for the working class, tell him that the gas should be at 10 cents a gallon, not 50 cents, okay. or dollar fifty, because... Ok, talk, dis à Monsieur Dumont, hey, stop, stop, stop. Dis à Monsieur Dumont que l'essence devrait être à 10 sous uh, par litre et pas un uh, dollar cinquante ou uh, plus. Par... Ok, go ahead. And if Mr. Dumont is for the people, he'll walk the walk. Ok, he stop. Et si Monsieur Dumont est pour la peuple, il va marcher la marche. Because all he's doing now is talk to talk. Talk is cheap. We Parce had, que tout, uh, il fait rien que uh, discuter maintenant. Yeah, we had a guy named Mike Harris. He all he did was talk, and then he he, mm -hmm. he skinned the people of Ontario life. He, he mm. took 22.6 percent of the poorest of the poor. And Mr. Du, uh, Dumont is is a, a cousin of Mike Harris. He's a, a ultra right winger. He's for a, a corporate. Uh, uh, for the big business, he don't care about the working class. He'll tell you what you want to mm. hear, but meanwhile, he'll screw you. The, o the only mm. party is the NPD. Okay. Monsieur Dumont est un jeune homme qui aime bien du sexe, et uh, il va t'embrasser te, uh, si tu... Uh, okay, so mm -hmm. we, we've put it in French for the people of yes, Quebec. Yes, and mm. rightfully so, and re respectfully so. so. Okay. So the people in Quebec, please... Uh, uh, right to him and Mr. Charest, the, mm -hmm. the for, former conservative, uh, liberal conservative, there's no difference. It's like a Tweedly Dean, Tweedly Dean. Mm -hmm. They're all for the corporate interest. So so I say mm -hmm. in the next election, if you believe in something and, and you believe in hope and you believe in the, mm -hmm. uh, the politics of hope, then vote NDP. Don't let mm -hmm. posters tell you how to vote because they're for big business and most posters work for the liberals and conservatives and they don't give a rats behind about you. Vote NDP, MPD. Okay.